Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 5 of Parallel World Pharmacy. So let's go to get started in 3, 2, 1, go. And no one's come? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay.
The medicine looks more like candy. I mean, than actual like medicine. Cause, like, they look like lightsabers. Like whether it's the candy version of lightsabers or like actual mint mint versions of them. <laughs> of course. That's the thing, not the greatest. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then going from there. Aww. <laughs> uh oh.
Yeah, but it looks more like self-harm. Oh, honey. Mm. Yeah, you can't do that so many times. It's very life threatening. This is his opportunity to make more customers come to the store. <laughs> I mean, he is like hella pale right now. <laughs> They should, but they'll still find ways to make them and to get them sold out. There you go. You got to give them short terms. You can't explain everything scientific to them and medical because some people may not understand it like that.
and you still look good. Damn. <laughs> well, of course it was going to be busy and that it was going to sell out no matter what. I think that's a good idea. <sighs> mm hmm Oh, thank goodness, because, like, for a moment at the beginning of the episode, when we heard the survey, I was like, oh, this isn't going to be the greatest for them. Like, how are you going to be able to change? But 
Thank God. Heck, I, I love the fact that his parents came to just scope out the place and have a little tour. Like, I love how his mom was like, yes, we're going to go and we're going to wear masks and we're going to pretend that we don't know our son and be like, oh, this is a nice little pharmacy. Like, that was so freaking cute. I think it's cute when parents come to see their kids working and such, like, especially when they get, like, a first job and stuff, because, you know, of course, if, when you're with your parents and stuff, they want to make sure that you're safe and that you're in a good environment and that nothing happens and that it's not toxic, you know? I think that's really sweet. Very good and adorable. But thank goodness, everything is thriving. Everything is going the way that it should. I do feel like we are still going to have some sort of conflict coming up soon, maybe besides the survey thing but there is something else that's coming but like oh <laughs> now he's able to sell makeup cosmetics and so many other things to so many different people and it's not just catering to one type of person it's really for everyone and i love that like that's good you need to be like that you know you gotta have the diversity in every single class Oh. I just, I don't know why, but I'm getting, like, hella plumping lip gloss vibes. <laughs> oh, I know, like, some guys are going to be like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I'll explain in a minute. Okay, so if you didn't know now, now you know. Plumping lip gloss is very similar. So regular lip gloss and regular chapsticks will just, you know, of course, moisten our lips and everything um, and such. But with plumping lip gloss, it tingles our lips um, to kind of make them a little more bigger if you don't have like bigger-esque lips, especially if you're, for a female, if your lips, for some females, not all, um... If your lips aren't very like potable and stuff because like I have very big lips um and such what I use it for myself I've seen videos of other like female youtubers and, and some male youtubers in the beauty beauty community trying it they say it's good I do want to try it but the stinging thing was I was like uh, is, is it supposed to do that like they said yeah it's supposed to make your lips tingle and I was like what are you sure do we need that like really but i mean you know hey once again beauty is pain in the world of makeups and cosmetics for us you know looking good is you know the thing that we have to do and you know it takes very much time to look a certain way you know no matter how what you want you want that appearance to be good you want to look good like 24 7 and like that so yes i completely understand um, the episode was good. I, like I said, I loved everything about it. The survey thing was a very nice touch. So I do like the Vivet Latte, you know, implemented that idea and giving and wondering, uh, I cannot speak, going around and asking people what they, you know, honestly thought about the pharmacy and everything and the good and the bad and everything between. So I hope that we, um, 
get to see more of that later on in the series where like almost every couple of episodes we get to see like a little like oh hey what's the people thinking about now about this is that and the third I, I think that's really good but yeah it was just a really very good enjoyable episode with some cute funny moments but other than that guys that was my reaction view truth episode five of parallel world pharmacy if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next sunday for episode six bye guys